This is a demonstration of streaming interesting data from RGPilot, in this case, uh, to MATLAB over UDP. So I was actually uh, pondering some methods to uh, detect oscillations in, in the PID loops. So I wanted to analyze the PID data in a nice visual way uh, using MATLAB, because I know MATLAB, but of course you could use Python or, or whatever else you like. So here you can see I'm receiving the target, uh, in this case, it's the plain pitch uh, PID. So it's the target pitch, the actual pitch, and then this is the error P, I, D, you can just see, uh, and then the feed forward is uh, always zero in this case. And then this is the total output. So uh, all of these terms added together. So this is what I'm streaming straight from RGPilot. And then I wanted to, to try out some different methods. So I'm uh, trying to uh, track the center here, and then I can try and find the amplitude of the and, and the frequency of the P, I, and D gains. So this is just something I've been messing with. So this is actually uh, quite simple to set up uh, on the RGPilot pilot side, uh, and it means you can stream whatever data you like uh, over a UDP to whatever program you like. So as I say, in this case, MATLAB, uh, which is excellent for doing graphs. So the data, if we uh, look at the MATLAB output window here, we can actually see the data is being received at uh, 50 frames a second. And this is because the plane loop rate is, is 50 hertz. But the plots are only uh, doing about three or four updates uh, a second. And this is just because I've written the code, uh, the MATLAB code, to update the plots as often as it can get away with. So doing all plots like this, uh, you can't plot at, at 50 hertz. Uh, you just get left behind. And in this case, it's just a one-way UDP stream. So if you get left behind, you just get a buffer full of stuff and you get uh, left behind. So you, your code must be able to sort of keep up with, with RGPilot. So I'll just show uh, how this is done on the RGPilot side. So here I am in AP Pitch Controller. So this is where the data is that I wanted to send. So I just uh, edit and include to pitchcontroller.h. Uh, APL utility socket, and then I've added a socket. So here we are, socket APM, and I've just called it sock, uh, and then we've initialized it uh, true there. And then this is where the data is actually sent. So it's just three lines in total. So we're sending the structure, uh, PID info, and it's the size of the structure, and then this is the IP where MATLAB is, and then this is the port. So this just sends this nice structure. And as it happens in the PID controller example, we have a nice structure or pre-made for us. Uh, so if we go and have a look at this uh, structure, here it is. So it's uh, seven floats here. And these are the floats I've been plotting uh, on this graph. So if you didn't have a nice uh, structure with all the data in your, you, you, you needed, you would have to make a little structure and fill it in. Uh, and actually, in this case, it's quite important that they're all the same size of variables. So the structure is aligned. So these are all floats, so that's no problem. So as I said, this is just sent out. Uh, and it's just sent every time the pitch controller is called, so it's at 50 hertz. So let's have a look at the MATLAB code. So there's lots of stuff setting up plots because in MATLAB to do plots at this rate, you need to set up the plots each time and then update the data in the plots rather than clearing the plot and setting it up again each time. So this is the data to set up the UDP socket. We're using the same PNET uh, MEX file that we used for the SITL connection. Uh, and then we need to, so this 9002 is the same port here. And then uh, we just set a, a read timeout. And this means we can run through uh, as fast as possible to, to try and read data in. So we wait for some data to become available. So this does the uh, the, the the bit that, uh, make, like, make sure you can't get left behind. So if it's taking too long, it delays the plot until you've got time. So then we wait until there's enough data. So in this case, I knew I was expecting seven floats and floats are each four bytes. So uh, that's how many bytes we're expecting. 
and then we just read uh, and because they're all the same we can just read with a single line seven in uh, this case for MATLAB floats are actually a single rather than a double uh, so we just convert them straight away to doubles and then I update them here so these are the same uh, names that we saw in the C structure over here uh, and I'm actually adding them onto big long arrays so we can do these nice plots for, for the time history but you could stream any data you like out of RGPilot that way and use MATLAB as a, as a fast way for prototyping uh, methods which is what I'm attempting to do here so I've still got some more work to do on this uh, PID stuff but hopefully this method of streaming data from RGPilot to any other program uh, might be useful and we could potentially look at making it a little bit easier than it is now uh, if people are interested thank you